Hey guys, it's Brandon, aka your mom's favorite workman's pomp, and today I'm back at it again with a follow-up to the last product I did, the same company, Charlie Dapper, but today we're going to be talking about the premium clay pomade. Now, what makes this stuff unique is that this is a stronghold, or it's um, marketed as a stronghold, long-lasting matte finish um, clay pomade that's supposed to have pretty good endurance and, uh, you know last throughout the day so let's get right into it first and foremost much like the other one i'm impressed with the way it looks i don't think i said this in the other review but the ingredients aren't on the jar so if you want to know what the ingredients are you're gonna to have to go to the website they are listed i did check when you pop this bad boy open oh and this is two ounces just like the other one um when you pop this bad boy open you're gonna see kind of like a greenish looking almost turquoise pomade um the scent on this is it's to me it's kind of like a earthy but fresh scent i actually really like the scent on this a lot i was um really surprised by this the product itself scoops fairly easy and like the other stuff that i was talking about the orthodox you don't need a lot uh breakdown on it is really easy as well although when you break this stuff down it doesn't always break all the way down and by that i mean you won't see it disappear on your hands you'll see it mostly disappear if you do little scoops um but it's a little bit more tacky the breakdown feels tacky um putting it in your hair you'll feel a slight and very slight tug and pull nothing to the point to where i would say that it's overly aggressive or gross um or it's going to hurt your hair um, even if you put a lot on, like I just took a pretty big medium sized scoop. This is what I was saying. It doesn't break all the way down. Um, you're still not going to have issues with it. Applying too, just be careful when you're applying. Make sure to put it all over, um, not in one spot. Some people will just go rant like that. And um, when you do that, sometimes you can get some clumps that will stuck in your hair. Um, and that's like any other pomade. So with the clay type stuff, I just say, run your hands through your hair um, as much as you can and make sure that it's applied evenly. Uh, but the application is easy and smooth on this product. The product itself, like I was saying, is on the tackier side, a little bit heavier feeling in the hair um, compared to the other products that I've tried. Um, but it's a nice medium weight feeling heavy. It doesn't feel like you're putting, definitely putting a strong product in your hair. Um, slicking it back, it's really easy and nice to slick. Uh, one of the things that I really enjoyed about this product is that it is really nice and easy when you're slicking it and it feels really good in the hair. Um, styling is really easy too. It's, you might get a minor amount of resistance, but nothing two out of the extraordinary now much like all other products the more you put in the i would say not necessarily harder it is to style with it but the more you put in the more you're definitely going to feel it when you're styling this product though i feel like it layers really nice um one thing i've noticed if you have longer hair like me you'll see that they kind of want to kind of like my hair wants to flinge out i guess you could say it flange flinge fly whatever you say um due to the nature of the product so if you have hair longer hair like mine just apply some to those troubled areas um, i usually apply some to my calic as well but um it's working pretty good today my calic's in the back so i got a pretty nice round shape um, just with the comb and a little bit of afro picking, but it's really easy to get a nice work safe pomp with this. Um, or you can do a side part, front contour, whatever you want, but this stuff is really easy to work with overall. Um, due to the nature of this product, it is a little bit stickier, like I was saying. So if you have a boar hair brush and you want the sides to go down um, really well, you can hit the sides and your trouble area, my calic back here, uh, with the boar hair brush in the anchor spots, I call them. Like I like to anchor my hair down the back and the sides. Um, it'll this product like really reacts well to being really matted down with a uh, with a boar hair um, brush or just any type of brush that will get it down better than like a standard comb. It helps lock it in and works really well.
I guess making this short and sweet, getting into my overall thoughts. Um, endurance wise, I noticed that this product, um, it's more of a medium endurance product. It does have a stronger hold. I would say it's more on the firm side, like I was saying about the other product. Um, but endurance wise, it isn't lackluster. It's just right down the middle. I noticed that when my head starts to heat up, the sides start to pop out, but the product being as slick as it is, it's easy to restyle. So uh, using this at work, it wasn't really a negative aspect to me, but some people might not, um, you know, if you're trying to do an all day style with this and work a really laborious job, um, it might not hold, your sides might not hold. The style up front held the whole day though, and I didn't have to deal with it. So overall, it was pretty good. Washout on this isn't one wash though. It being a clay pomade, um, it took, um, I would say about a wash and a half, two washes to get all the products out, but or all the product out. But the good thing about that is, is that if you're using this a couple of days in a row, it's a good foundation, a good clean buildup that you can build upon and you know put a lighter pomade on or add a little bit less than this. Um, if I had to give this a, a um, rating, I would give this product a 4.3 out of 5. This is a great clay pomade. I was really impressed about the longevity of the style as well as the slick ability and the ease of use. Usually a lot of the stronger holding, firm holding clay pomades um, are heavy on the clay and it's not as fun to put the product in and it feels like you just have a lot of stuff matted in your hair. It doesn't feel good. That is not the case with the Charlie Dapper Premium Clay Pomade. This stuff will um, stay easy to use throughout the whole day. However, the trade-off is that the endurance isn't as strong as the orthodox and it isn't as strong as a strong holding it's more medium endurance firm holding product so that's all i gotta say i really liked it a lot oh and also I almost forgot um if you want to get something from the charlie dapper website they gave me a code for my subscribers and my non-subscribers it's down here it's uh, rodriguez 15 you can put that in at checkout for 15 percent off your order pretty sweet, um, especially since they have a lot of other stuff that they can add, um, or they have a lot of other stuff in their, um, what would you say, their <laughs> inventory, their repertoire, their uh, products, they have a lot more. So, okay, I stumbled my way through that. Anyways, um, yeah, give them a check out. Um, they're a company I didn't hear about for a while, and I was actually surprised by both the stuff that they um they gave me so i'm really excited about that um let me know if you guys have tried this product let me know what you think about it and if you have any questions put them in the comments below and uh have a good one guys